Hopes of staying away from trouble turns tragic for a woman in Norfolk. Now a man is locked up for the crime and police are trying to piece together a tangled web of facts. We begin at 6 with new information on a late night murder in Norfolk. Police told us just within the last couple of hours that they found the suspect at a hotel in Chesapeake. Stephen Williams is accused of killing 21 year old Chastity Parker at a home on Kimball Terrace. We we're told that she was visiting friends when Williams allegedly shot her. Then to your size, Jason Marks has been working this story all day. And Jason, what have you learned? Well, Tom Parker was well liked. She had a lot of friends and family who have been posting on social media all day. They just cannot believe she's gone. They, they deserve to be in jail. This is. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. There's too many people, young people dying and getting killed these days. We don't yet have the face of the suspect in a late night murder, but police say 22 year old Stephen Williams is in custody. Williams is accused of killing 21 year old Chastity Parker. She's a very sweet girl. She's never had any issues with anybody out here or anything like that. I've never known her to get in trouble. Parker was at her home on Kimball Terrace last night. When police say William shot her. I saw the police and next thing I know I just seen people running down the street. Crews rushed out to the scene but couldn't save her life. I heard a couple people saying that someone had got shot and I was like really well, I didn't you I didn't hear any gunshots which was the weird thing because we didn't hear any gunshots and usually my windows rattle if you hear any gunshots and we didn't hear any. The shooting happened inside this now boarded up apartment. We're told Williams also assaulted Parker's 75 year old grandmother before he left the scene on a bicycle. Police found him inside a hotel room in Chesapeake. It's scary. It's scary, especially if you're living right like a couple of doors down. Friends and family believe this was the end to a domestic relationship. They just don't know why it had to end like this. It's just sad, like especially right in your neighborhood. Now, police aren't yet saying what the relationship between Parker's and Williams was. We do know Williams is facing a number of charges, including second degree murder. Jason Marks, 10 on your side. And we will continue to follow this on air and on wavy.com and bring you any updates as they come in on the investigation.